with the man of the hour. Now, I'm sure you saw a bunch of mock drafts. How realistic did you even think it was that you would go third overall? You know, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations. Tried to keep everything open, and, um, you know, wherever I went, it was going to be a surprise because I had no idea where I was going to go. And, uh, you know, very thankful it was Jacksonville and excited about it. You said you had 223 text messages within the last 15 hours getting on a plane, having your first press conference as a Jaguar. What has this been like for you? It's been, it's been a whirlwind. There's been uh, very little sleep, but uh, it's been awesome. You know, it's a dream come true, um, you know, to, to hear your name called and be able to walk across the stage and then, you know, fly to, to Jacksonville and meet with everybody. It's been awesome. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Of course, you brought all the family along with you as well. Yeah, everybody's here. How do you think your style of play fits into uh, the offensive schemes here? Yeah, you know, talking with Coach Fish, you know, we've talked a couple uh, about a couple schemes and a little bit, and we'll get more into that later. But um, you know, I think just getting here, learning, soaking everything up, learning from uh, from Chad Haney as much as I can, and and trying to get better each and every day. You're basically a hometown guy. You said you went to Jags games when Mark Brunel was the quarterback uh, and you were much younger. How do you meet the expectations now for fans of your own? Right. Yeah. You know, I think, like I said, getting here, getting better each and every day, working hard um, and competing are are the expectations I have for myself. And and, and I look forward to starting and, uh, and, and getting back to playing football. What are the first steps and the lessons that you can learn from Chad Henney coming in if when he's starting mm-hmm. the beginning of the season? Yeah, you know, he's been doing it for a while. He's been he's been playing in the NFL for years, and he's been doing a great job. So, I mean, it's, it's a different point of view when, when you're on the sidelines. You see things differently. So I think learning from him, um, you know, taking however long to learn as much as possible and soak all the information up, and, uh, and, and really I think is a huge help to be able to do that. Or you look comfortable with the hat. You said you need to pack a bag at least. What's the next couple of steps for you? Yeah, um, go home and, uh, and pack a bag and drive back Sunday. So it's a, it's a little over a two-hour drive, so it's, it's perfect. Not a long drive. All right, thanks, Blake, so much.